Hey, it's your girl, Camilla K, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you tips on curly wigs and straight wigs that are conducive for work as a model, especially a black model within an industry that is not always the most familiar with doing our hair type. Hey, 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 it's your girl, Camilla K, and I'm so excited about this video because as a black model in this industry, you may have heard it before, there are so many models that complain about the fact that when we as black models show up to sets, that stylists are often not familiar with how to do our hair, how to do our natural hair. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you tips on what curly wig and straight wig I have used in my modeling career that has landed me a lot of great jobs and that has also given me a peace of mind knowing that I'm going to be looking my best when I'm at work and not having to stress about what a stylist can or cannot do with my hair. So if you follow my social media pages, you will sometimes see hair that is curly but not as super defined. You'll see curly hair that is super defined. You'll see a straight hair. And I get questions on, wait, is that your hair? Is that a wig? I'm going to actually insert a photo so that you can see my natural hair that I'm talking about with the texture. So generally when you see my hair, big, wild, not super defined, that is my natural hair. However, when you see my hair that is in a curly state and it's super defined, that is usually a wig. And that wig is this one. You wanna make sure that when you are choosing a curly wig, that you choose one that looks full, that doesn't look very sparse, and you wanna make sure that the curl pattern is something that looks somewhat believable to your hair. For instance, someone like myself that has 4C coarse hair, I wouldn't go with a hair pattern or a curl pattern that is just super, super soft and extra, extra bouncy. This one is from Outre, and this wig was literally around 40 or $50. The good thing that I like about this wig and what you would also want to consider is notice that this allows me to have bangs, right? So when you have a curly wig, a lot of times it is easier because you don't have to worry about doing the glue on your edges or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And then all I do is just secure the wig all around with some bobby pins because ain't nobody got time for your hair to be flying off in the wind and embarrassing you. Not a good look. All right, so let's move on to straight wig. When it comes to a straight wig, you wanna make sure that you are also buying a wig that is of good quality. When it comes to the curly hair, it's not as vital that you get real human hair because the curlier wigs tend to look more believable even if it's synthetic hair. So this one, for instance, is synthetic, which is why it was around 40, 50 bucks. But with straight hair, you wanna make sure that you get one that is real hair because the clients are gonna want to, when you're on set, they're gonna want the ability to curl your hair or make it even straighter if necessary. So you wanna make sure that you buy real hair and not synthetic hair. Also, real hair tends to not look as shiny, it won't look as fake, and so you want something that's gonna be believable. So the wig that I have, this is my straight wig, so you'll notice that it is a lace cap wig. So this is going to allow you to have the more believable edge, and also this is breathable, it just tends to look more real, and you can see like it literally has just such good quality. I can just easily run my fingers through it. It is not shiny. One quick tip about straight hair and even curly hair. Let's say for instance that you do happen to get a wig and it looks a little bit shiny for whatever reason. A quick trick is to use baby powder. So sprinkle baby powder. Don't put it too close to the hair, but let's say that you have your straight wig here. You wanna do your baby powder from about here and just sprinkle it throughout the wig because the baby powder helps to take away the shine. So obviously you're gonna to have to be really careful with the baby powder. You don't want too much in certain areas or in one concentrated area because then it's gonna be super hard to get out. But once you do the baby powder, then you're able to shake out the hair and get all of the baby powder out of the hair and that helps to just calm down the shine, basically give it almost like a matte finish. So that's a quick tip for, and this one is from A-List Hair. It's a website that I went on. I actually discovered them on Instagram, and so I went on their website. They allow you to customize the color if you will, would want. This is just a generic natural color, but you can go a little bit lighter, obviously, depending on your own natural hair color if you want. And so when it comes to styling the straight wig, I use this product called Got To Be Glued. 
And it's basically just a styling gel that I will use around the edges of the straight wig just to hold it down. But there are tons of videos on YouTube on how to make your straight hair lace front wig more believable. So go ahead and just YouTube lace front wig installation and you'll find a host of videos showing you how to properly install this on your own or you can go to a stylist that knows how to install wigs and they can do that for you so the main things are you want to make sure that when you're buying a straight wig that it is real hair not synthetic because you want the ability for styling when you're on set of your job you also don't want synthetic because a lot of times if it's synthetic for straight hair it tends to look shiny and it looks fake and it just is not a good look for your modeling career and you also want to make sure that when you are buying your curly wig that you get something that has the ability to do bangs it just tends to be easier for you now if you do a lace front wig that's perfectly fine as well for curly hair as long as you know how to do the proper install around the edges because that's something that people have a hard time with is doing the installation on their own and then sometimes you know you'll see people with lace front wigs and it's so apparent that it is a wig so even if you buy a human hair wig and a good quality wig like this one but you don't know how to properly cut and install the front of your wig then that is going to still give you the illusion that the wig is just not as nice looking so go ahead and buy the real one but YouTube how to properly install it so to recap my curly wig was from a company called Outre and my straight wig was from a company called A-List Lace Hair so for the big question, how many wigs should you have as a black model, especially within an industry where stylists are not always the most familiar with doing our hair types? So there is no right or wrong answer to this. For myself personally, I have found that it's super helpful for me to have a curly wig and also a straight wig. So most of the time, I feel like clients fall into three categories with myself when it comes to my hair. Either clients are going to want my natural hair, or I find that they ask for me to wear my curly wig, this one, because the curls are more defined and it just goes for more of the look that they are going for. I also find that clients want to have my hair straight. So in that case, instead of putting damage, heat damage on my natural hair by straightening my hair with a flat iron and a blow dryer when clients request for me to arrive to work with straight hair, that's when I just pop on my straight wig and I arrive to work with my straight wig already installed. And the great thing about having the options of either your hair being curly straight, maybe a third option is if you get a bob hair that is straight that just comes right around this section. The good thing about that is that you have versatility because there are always going to be the clients that want a model with curly hair versus straight hair or always a client that wants a model with straight hair versus curly hair and sometimes it does depend if you're a fashion model versus a commercial model the kind of look that clients are generally going to be asking for but the more versatile you are with your hair it just opens up more opportunities for you to book more jobs. All right, so those are my tips on what I personally do for making sure that I am well prepared in this modeling industry as it relates to my hair and making sure that my hair looks fabulous each time I go to work and each time I do a print campaign or a TV commercial and I wanna ensure that I look my very best. Let me know if you have personally worn wigs before, maybe what wig brands work for you. Leave comments below. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and share this channel with others that you may think could benefit from this. Whether they're a model or not, plenty of people could use some tips on what wigs are good for our skin tone and for our lifestyle. So until the next video, definitely shoot me a DM on my social media pages, leave comments below. Let me know also what videos you are looking for me to put out next. That way I am making content that you are actually interested in seeing. All right, until next time, I will see you soon. Thanks so much for all the love, bye.